Hi guys, welcome to this hunter run, this solo hunter run of this week's Prestige Nightfall. I'm doing it on Gunslinger, bottom tree of the subclass, so I'm, obviously I'm using Arc Singe as one of my modifiers. I'm using Heavyweight and Momentum as well. I'm using Better Devils as my Kinetic, Masterworked. My trusty Arc Mananan, Masterworked. And Whisper of the Worm, Exotic Sniper. And because I'm using Gunsling, I want to do maximum DPS on the boss. I'm using Celestial Nighthawk. So, this is obviously, as I've said before in my uh, Titan video, this is DFA week. And uh, I dropped the DFA. And I'd done it because I never started farming the Nightfall, really, until I'd done the high score run. Make sure you get a high score run done first, guys. Get the 110,000 threshold, which I would suggest... For a really easy completion, especially if you're if you're 385, if you're up and around the 385, uh, 26 plus damage modifier, uh, put on whatever burn you want. And for this, arc's really good, especially for supers at the end. Uh, arc, I used match game, which you have to match the, the elemental shield. So if it's arc, you have to, you've got to use arc. I used famine, which you don't get as many drops. And I used uh, Extinguish, which means if you die, if the whole fire team die, you all go to orbit. We managed to get it pretty easily. Nothing special, just make sure you coordinate your supers. And before you fire supers, make sure that there's no shielded enemies that don't match th the damage type of the super. So make sure there's no void and no solar up before you pop super. My suggestion is always kind of try and go with the void because you'll always get your... your elite goblins and elite hobgoblins which are more more points but you will you'll reach the score pretty easily <clears throat> for for a bigger completion you can raise it again <clears throat> when you do that you get something like a, a 4.1 t uh, score mod score time score modifier so it's that's kind of the way we done it and it was really easy and then i farmed it and it took me about eight attempts i think once, once i got the the high score run but that's the longest it's took me to get one. And bearing in mind, I've dropped all the strike-specific catalysts doing Prestige Nightfalls once I've done the high score run. So it really does work. That's my suggestion. The DFA looks pretty interesting. I u I have used it on runs uh, on the Warlock, which I will put up maybe tomorrow. But it's I, I don't think it's anything really special. It's not as good as I thought it was going to be, so... I have to turn my attentions to this Midnight Coop and see how good that is. Uh, but I, I'm pretty happy with the Better Devils. It's done everything I've asked it to do. So while we're running through the Infinite Forest, I'll just add this in. Obviously, I think we're all expecting the Whisperer Worm to come back at 6 on Friday. I'm recording this early morning Friday. So uh, it's, about, it's about quarter past one in the morning here. Uh, BST, pretty standard time. So... I'm expecting the worm to come back at 6. This week I'm really going to give it a good go to get the solo out of the way. I, ha I I didn't struggle with the solo last week. I never had a chance to run it as many times as I wanted to. But I think I've got a pretty good strategy for doing it. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to knock out a solo this weekend and get that out for you guys. Uh, and I've got a few more clan members to run through. So for anybody that hasn't actually done it, I'm going to put a couple of guides up this weekend. I'm going to put a jumping puzzle guide so that... To show you the most efficient way to get to get as much time without needing to do any crazy jumps. There's like one kind of skip jump you've kind of got to do. But what I'll do is I'll try and do I'll try and do a guide for each character. So I'll do a jump and puzzle guide for the Warlock Hunter and Titan. It'll all be in the the same guide. I'm not going to put three videos up. It'll be one video where you can skip to what character you want to run with. So that, that's kind of the plan for this weekend. Now that we're at the end, there's only really a couple of sections of this that we need to speak about. Uh, and this part, I normally don't speak about this part, but this part, when you're, as you can see, when you're taking out the snipers, the snipers are solar, just keep moving from left to right. I had all four of them aiming at me and never got hit. So just keep dodging left to right and you'll be fine. Watch out because it's solar. Be careful about the, the grenades. And don't push enemies. Because they'll stick you with those grenades. And that can be a bad day. <laughs> that can be a bad day. So we are going to one phase the boss. So by the end, you want to make sure you've got 
fair bit of heavy, and your super. The super is the most important. You because if you hit your crits, you'll you'll kill the boss. You only need the three rounds and you'll kill him. But it's always good to have a reserve. But I I will add this in. With the hunter, if you miss cr a crit, there's a real chance you're not going to one phase him. You have to hit every shot as a crit. So once we clear these ads and the portal opens, uh, we're going to do a usual. We're going to skip past the next section. We're not going to not going to bother fighting the ads. We're just going to jump over the the gap and we're going to go. Very easy. We can't skip the last section because the, really the Titan's the only one that can do that with the jumps. So we're going to have to fight our way through that. But it's all very self-explanatory. So I'm just going to find something else to speak about. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's, uh, I'm not going to start talking about the weather or stuff like that. It's uh, the, the, This one, I remember when this first strike first dropped, it was quite an annoying strike, actually. I didn't really like it. But the more I've done it, the more I've realized it's... It's, it's, it's a very, very, very straightforwardly easy strike if you understand the mechanics. And I'm, I hope that the videos that I'm putting out, especially on the different characters and the different strategies, I mean, now I'm doing it with a sniper. And so far, I've got a one phase on the Titan and a one phase on the Hunter using a sniper. It is the Whisper of Worms. It is you know, on a prestige with the modifiers, but still, still not going to see a lot of those, I don't think, so I hope, I hope you guys like the run, and for all the hunters out there, I, there aren't many one phases out there on a hunter, so this is, this is a pretty good strategy, it's a very good strategy actually, and that, the sniper, for anybody that didn't play Destiny 1, this is, there's a great video by Baif about the, the journey of the sniper from black hammer to black spindle to whisper of the worm how he kind of likens the journey of the sniper to the the metamorphosis of zol starting at a basic form and then making your way to your final form so the black hammer had all the perks that the 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 whisper of the worms got then when the spindle, they kind of nerfed the hammer at the end of year one of Destiny. And then when the spindle came out, it came out as the nerfed hammer. So basically, when you hit three critical shots, it reloaded your weapon from your reserves. So it wasn't infant ammo. You would run out of ammunition. They've, but when the black hammer first came out, it was exactly the same as the worm. The whisper of the worm. You, you hit three crits. You got your rounds back. And never lost anything from your reserves. So... That's why you'll see a lot of people call it the OG White Nail Perk because it's it's more reminiscent of what the Black Hammer was when it was first re first brought out in the Crota Raid. It was the the Crota Raid Sniper, and coincidentally, it was my very first reward from Crota, and it was my fav one of my it was my favorite sniper up until I began my infamous infamous run with the thousand yard stare with Firefly. So, and I'm I'm very happy to see it back, and it's it's I think I, th I think most people have commented on the fact that missions like this coming into Destiny are a very good thing. It's it gives us something exciting to chase. Well, there's now a weapon that makes us feel godlike. So, and the masterwork, the masterwork is going to give it box breathing. I think that's insane. The exotic catalyst is going to give it box breathing. So this thing's going to do even more damage. The raids just won't be able to stand up to this weapon. I, I believe that Redeem have already done a video where they one plated Callus using everybody using the worm. That's ins that's insanity. So we're we're almost at the boss. This is where the real strategy comes in. You've got to stand. Now it's the same place I stood with my Titan. Right? Except so what the way the way it kind of works is to to get the one phase on 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 on. Uh, on the boss, uh, Brachus Thun, I think his name is, to get the one phase on him, when he goes into his original animation where he's going to fire at you, now he will only fire, if you're too close on that platform to him, he won't fire at you, he will detect you as a melee target, and he'll try and move to get a better shot on you, if you move right to the back of that platform, he will see you then, you're not an immediate environmental threat. He will then go into his animation to shoot. 
Now I have done plenty of runs where I've hit all three crits and it hasn't given me the reload. It hasn't given me the, the way. So if you reload, the one phase is gone. So what I decided to do was I'll pop my golden gun and wait for him to go into his firing arm animation and crit him. Then I'll go and start hitting him. And when if you do it like that, every crit counts as a proper crit hit and you'll get the reloads and you'll be able to one phase him. If you crit him first when he goes into that animation, even though you get the yellow numbers for some reason, it stands a chance to not count as a crit. So if you hit him with golden gun and then put it on his head, you'll finish him in one phase. It's that simple. And I've done this run, as I say, I farmed it eight to ten times after this for the DFA. And I one phased him out of the first six runs, I one phased him five times. It's 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 a solid strategy. It will work a hundred percent of the time if you do what I'm doing. So now just just as a side note. I also tried this with the Merciless. The Merciless does, compared to what, what we're doing with the Sniper, the Merciless does nothing. And I tried it with Darcy, and Darcy tickles him. It just it just doesn't do the damage that this is doing. So all these, there's videos out there comparing the, the damage type, the damage numbers from Darcy to the Whisper. They can't, I don't think they're very comparable. Because I've seen it in action in and, 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 and a prestige nightfall. And I don't even think I took two thirds of his health off him. But I hit every crit. So this is what we do. Now what I'm doing now is I'm running about. I've procced. I try and proc my momentum before I even go up here. Get on the back of this platform. Make sure you're at the back. You don't want to be fully facing them. You want to have that brick on the left as a bit of cover. Pop my golden gun, crit, sniper out, and make sure you equip the sniper before you go super so that when you come out your super, you're right into your sniper. And there's your one phase. Hunt a one phase. Now, what I try and do here, and it doesn't always work, I think in the second room it's more difficult, is I just try and take, I put, put a grenade down, see what enemies that can take, and then I'm just interested in taking the minotaur. As you can see, I think the grenade must have damaged him a bit and then he was susceptible to two shots from the Whisper. Now, in this next room, it's a little bit different, so take advice from me to not do what I've done here. Now, I think I, t I, I start well. I take the snipers. Got to take the snipers, especially on a solar. Uh, but I think the problem I had here was these lasers, they just tagged me. And the thing about the worm is it's an awesome weapon, so good, really good. But you really do get that, you know, you suffer from quite a bit of flinch. And I was waiting for him to come out and it's just being stupid. I should have tried to take harpies, but you can really get into a bad position trying to take the harpies. So I just moved to the other side to get a better, 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 better view of the minotaur. And it worked fine because I took him. And that is the end of that run. It is annoying that once you put down the boss, you've still got to finish the, the two rooms. But as you can see, it doesn't really it doesn't really take a lot of time. And that is the run. That is this run. That is the solo prestige nightfall with one phase on the hunter. Very simple. Now I'm going to show you the moment I dropped the DFA. So I never dropped it here, as you can see. Uh, this was the run I done my... This was the run I recorded for the guide this was the moment i dropped it and as you can see it drops as a legendary engram and there we go and it drops masterworked the rampage perk is good uh, but it's it's not rubbish it's just it's it's not it's not the greatest hand cannon i've ever used but it will be good for some people so it's worth going for it's probably better in the crucible than it was in the prestige Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope this helps you farm the DFA. So until the next video, guys, take it easy.